Hi, George here, and I wanted to share with you a great way to use the new generative AI here inside of Photoshop Elements 2026. We're going to be extending the background of this picture, and this is a perfect use for this tool. If you want to learn more about 2026, I do have a complete training course for this. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, let's just extend this by about 20%. Go up to Image, come down to Resize and Canvas Size right here. Changes to Percent. And I'll put the width at 20 and the height at 20%, so 20% on both. I'll move the anchor point to the bottom so that we get more picture on the sides and the top, and the bottom stays where it is. Here's the extended canvas. Let's now fill this in. And what you want to do is to make your selection first and then use the generative AI tools. So go over here to the magic wand and click into the white area that selects that. Let's now go over to Gen AI, and we'll be using the insert object right here. And down below where it says prompt, we'll type in what we want to see. We have tree roots in here. Obviously, it's kind of a tropical tree, so let's just type in here tree roots. And I'll put in tropical leaves. There we go. Let's generate. And let's see how the new Photoshop Elements 2026 handles this particular extension project. There are several ways to extend a picture or extend a background but I think this is actually the best of all possible techniques because it gives you new imagery in there. And there we go, new pictures in there, new imagery. So you're not just stretching the image, you're actually creating new. And I think that's just a perfect job in here. Okay, we have four options down below. That's option one. Here's option two. Here's option three. And here's option four. I think I like option one the best out of these. There's a little kind of an odd thing right down here. We'll take care of that. And when generative AI does something like this, does an image, it comes in as a smart layer object. You can see the icon down right here. To do any more work on this, we have to convert this to a regular object. So for that, right click where the name is and choose simplify layer. There we go. It's now simplified. We can now clean this up. And for that, let's just go over here to our enhance tools, grab the remove tool. And I'm just going to brush right over that thing, whatever that is. It's kind of a lens flare thing. And there we go. That's solved, it's that easy. If you wanna get rid of some of the graffiti that's been kind of carved in here, this is a great tool for that as well. Just go ahead and go over that and let that clean that out. That easy to do. And this tool is basically just using content aware fill. So if you didn't have 2026 or 2025, you could come in and then just select those areas and use content aware fill to remove those blemishes. That would also work out just as well. Interesting how it has gone in and put in some graffiti on the new area that it was added in. So I actually spotted that and extended that. Okay, so there you go. Great use for this new generative AI. Does a beautiful job at extending photos. And again, if you want to find out more about how to use all the tools here inside of Photoshop Elements 2026, including all the new features, all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, everything, you'll find all of that in my complete course for Photoshop Elements 2026. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.